Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to talk about the top three easiest engineering degrees. So let's get started. So there's already a video that's similar to this, but it's talking about the top three hardest engineering degrees. It seems like that video has been doing pretty well. So I think people might be interested in what the top three easiest engineering majors are. If you want to watch that other video about the top three hardest ones, you can either click on the top right and go to that video to watch that before watching this one, or you can just continue watching this one and then go back and, and watch that other one. The information I'm pulling this from is from the same survey that I used for the top three hardest engineering degrees. And the rankings from this survey are based on three different uh, key points. And those are the general reputation of the engineering degree. So whether or not students think it's tougher than others, just based on the name, um, the amount of coursework you have to do. So the amount of study time, um, how long you have to study for. And then the last one is course requirements. So how many math courses do you have to take overall as an undergraduate student? Um, how many physics courses or science courses you have to take in order to major in that particular degree? So those are the three main key points on how they ranked these engineering degrees. So with that, I'm going to get to it and I'm going to work my way backwards and start with number three. So the third easiest engineering degree is architectural engineering, where you create, maintain, and design buildings and structures that are structurally sound. A lot of the times you will be part of the process of creating the building. Um, there is a little bit of a design aspect to it. So you might need to have to review the plans and the blueprints of a particular building or structure to make sure that, okay, yes, this will work. Um, you guys can go ahead and build this because you know X, Y, Z, it meets these requirements. So because you'll be doing some sort of aspect of designing, then you'll be communicating with you know architects as well as um, construction workers. You'll need to have the um, social skills and interpersonal skills as well as business skills to be able to coordinate with others and to work with them. And because of that, you'll be taking um, more business type courses. So because the business courses aren't as technical as the math and physics, um, it's not considered as difficult of a degree. You're not taking as many science and as many math courses. So the second easiest engineering degree is industrial engineering. And this is basically the intersection between engineering and business and economics. So these engineers are focused on designing new concepts for factories, for hospitals, as well as other structures of the sort. So they are the ones who um, help with developing those new concepts. They're also trying to uh, mitigate the amount of structural waste that could be created from building these structures. So it may sound like it's more of like a business major, but it's not. It's, it's a much more technical than a business major, but it's not as technical as the average engineering major. Uh, there's not nearly as many math and physics courses that you have to take, mainly because you'll be working with um, business and economics. But because it is an engineering degree, it's like it's still going to be hard, it's just going to be easier than the average engineering degree. So if you're someone who's interested in the organizational workplace and you know the structures there, then this degree will be perfect for you. And last but not least, which is the easiest engineering degree is environmental engineering. Um, again, I am not shocked by this because I think I made a note about this in the previous video where I talked about uh, the top 10 highest paid engineering degrees and environmental engineering, it made the list of top 10, but it was number 10. The goal of these engineers is to develop uh, machines and structures so that there's minimal harm to the environment. The reason why this engineering degree is the easiest is because like with the other ones, you don't have to do nearly as much um, technical work in terms of the course requirements. You take classes that involve the study of ecology and other environmental factors. So all of those classes and courses are not nearly as technical as you know, advanced math and advanced physics classes. Um, again, this is an engineering degree, so you will be taking Algebra 1-2, probably Calc 1-2-3, and uh, probably Physics 1, and uh, maybe Chemistry 1, but those are all just the fundamental courses that you would have to take no matter what, no matter what engineering degree you choose, you would have to take all of those classes. If you're someone who's interested in helping the environment and you're also interested in building structures and uh, building machines, then definitely major in this degree. Those are the top three easiest engineering degrees. Um, I can put the list right here, but if you are interested in the environment, definitely, definitely consider majoring in this degree because it is the considered the easiest one. And then and if you are interested in building infrastructures for companies or 
for hospitals or anything like that, then definitely think about majoring in industrial engineering. Um, and then lastly, if you're interested in the architectures as well as help with the design process and make sure that it's structurally sound, then architectural engineering will be for you. And I noticed that with these top three, they're very uh, hands-on type jobs. Uh, none of them would require you to sit at a desk all day or anything like, you know, computer engineering or computer science or electrical engineering. You would never really have to do that. Maybe with architectural engineering, but even then you'd still be hands-on with the construction workers um, and making sure that it's being built the way it should. Um, but yeah, everything else, it seems like they're all hands-on. You have to be outside or outdoors at some point or majority of your day. So if you're someone who likes doing that, if you're someone who's very hands-on and you don't want to sit at a desk all day um, and you'd prefer to be socializing or talking to others, then I would highly suggest these three because all engineering degrees, most of them, require you to be in a lab by yourself or be on the computer by yourself or you know very minimal uh, social interactions so I just found that interesting but yeah if you guys think you would like that then definitely consider pursuing them so those are the top three engineering degrees I hope you guys like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more or if you'd like to see uh, something similar to this if you like me to go in more detail about each one of these then also uh, drop it in the comments below and yeah I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching